my darlings welcome back to my channel so on today's video i'm going to be talking about five luxury items to start your luxury collection and i'm going to start with one of my absolute favorites which are sunglasses a pair of sunglasses can elevate any outfit and make it more fashion forward it totally depends on your personal style and preference but i'm going to show you three of my favorite sunglasses and different styles. So to start with the statement sunglasses, which are my Celine, and they are quite big and definitely a statement. Totally Kim Kardashian made me buy them. They are super elegant and classic at the same time. Although they are bulky in a statement, I think they go with any outfit. Second of my favorite are my Gucci Aviators and Aviator sunglasses are a classic style that's here to stay. Let me just show them on and this is how they look. And the third pair of sunglasses and it's most recent to my collection, it's a fashion forward pair of sunglasses. They are the Louis Vuitton ones and they're more of a statement and quite fashion forward. I really like it. Not maybe everyone's taste, but I find them very different and that they suit me. Moving on to the second item and a statement belt or a luxury belt can again elevate your outfit and take it from simple to elegant and stylish. I'm gonna start with the most fashion forward. This is my Moschino, oh, it's upside down. It's my Moschino belt and it's quite a fashion statement. It's totally um, retro and 80s vibes and it's a very good price for a luxury belt. So it totally again depends on your style, your preference. I'm just showing you my favorites. My second favorite, and some people might say it's out of style and dated, but I still love my Gucci Marmont belt. And it's quite simple when you compare it to the Moschino, which is very in your face and bulky, but I like them both for different looks. And the third one, and also one of the most recent ones in my collection, let me just get it, it's my Louis Vuitton and it's reversible. You have the mini monogram print on one side and then it's black on the other side. Reversible belts are also very practical. You can have two in one. I'm still debating to get an Hermes one. It's also a very good belt to start your collection because most of Hermes belts are reversible and since I got this one I appreciate the versatility of having the option of wearing it on both sides and you can have different looks. The third item that I recommend and I don't see it that often on videos like this and it's definitely one of my favorite luxury accessories it's a scarf. I'm gonna start with my good old trusty um, Givenchy and it's more of a blanket scarf it's massive I do recommend a blanket scarf and it doubles as a scarf and as a blanket if you're traveling or commuting to work and it's quite easy to then just throw on your tote bag and it doesn't take as much space as a big coat and it's very warm and toasty especially if it's a wool blend like this one I totally love it I believe that a scarf can take a simple outfit and elevate it and make it more interesting depending on the pattern and again it's your perfect per sorry my words are <laughs> getting tangled it's a case of personal preference I'm gonna show you another one of my favorites and most recent to my collection and it's reversible which makes it even more versatile it's my Louis Vuitton Reykjavik scarf and on one side it's this ivory color and then on the other side it's camel with the ivory monogram throughout it's also quite big and toasty so this one it's definitely one of my favorites 
but one scarf that I never thought I would get so much wear out of and I do prefer this one to the Louis Vuitton shawl I also have the Louis Vuitton shawl but it bubbles and snags and this one doesn't it's the Burberry shawl and this one has since been discontinued but the classic Burberry pattern goes with so so many outfits and sometimes I just put on a plain white t-shirt some denim, a blazer, and I throw this on for color and interest and it makes it look like I made an effort and I really didn't. I never thought I would be such a Burberry fan and I truly truly love this one. It's definitely one of my most used scarves. Uh, love it. I'm even considering buying the classic scarf from Burberry's in the pink or in the light blue color, I think they're divine. Moving on to number four, and it's one of my absolute favorites and my passion, it's shoes. I'm gonna start with heels. I'm gonna give you three options for heels because I'm a heel lover, but some of you might prefer flats. And I do adore a good pair of Louboutins. I will link my Louboutin collection video down below if you're interested. And this one is one of my most recent pairs and I'm I'm shocked that I only just got them because a pair of classic nude heels and more sensible heel will be a staple in your wardrobe. I've worn this so so much and I only got them for Christmas and we've been in lockdown but still I can easily go to the supermarket wearing them or running errands because the heel is like I mentioned quite sensible and comfortable and the nude, especially the nude from Lobotin, elongates your leg, makes you look so more elegant. It's just divine. Continuing with Lobotins and a basic, well, there's nothing basic about a pair of Lobotins, but a classic, elegant black pump. You can either have it in patent leather or in, or in smooth leather. The heel can be as high or as low, depending on what you feel comfortable with, but a classic, elegant black pump is a must in any luxury collection, in my opinion, and I do love mine. I have several more embellished, but I'm so glad that I have a more simple and elegant pair that will go with any look and make it just classic. The last pair of heels I'm gonna show you is a statement pair of shoes. It can be anything to your preference. I went with my Manolo Blahniks in red and I think they elevate any look. They can take the most simple outfit and make it pop. A pop of color or a statement shoe can take your outfit to a different level and I do adore a statement heel. I have a passion for shoes and a passion for heels but you can even go with a more sensible one. This is only the seven millimeter heels and make it more comfortable. It's just divine. Finally, number five, handbags. Luxury handbags definitely depend on your lifestyle and your personal preference. And there are many out there to choose from. I'm gonna show you three of my favorites to start your collection with. And number one, and very versatile piece, it's the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the size MM and in my personal favorite print, which is the Damier et Ben with the beautiful red interior. This is the perfect work bag, travel bag. It's amazing. And even while well, I'm missing mine, but you have the little pouch that you can wear as an evening clutch. So this one is definitely a great choice. The second handbag that I have to show you is my beautiful Alma Bibi, also in the Damier et Ben print. I believe this to be the most versatile canvas print. It matches pretty much any outfit that you can think of. I do have a video on the Alma and all the details and also outfit ideas. I'll link it down below if you're interested. This bag is elegant, classic, versatile. You can wear it to work for an evening out. No going wrong with this one. I did struggle to get you a third option when it comes to handbags and luxury handbags to start your collection. In between my pochette Matisse, you can see her there, or my absolute favorite, the Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. 
This handbag is so, so versatile. You can wear it as a work bag. It fits more than I ever imagined. I have a video on it and I'll link it down below if you're interested to see more details. It can also be an evening out bag. You can adjust the straps to wear it as you wish. I'm in love with mine. I'm so glad that I went for the jumbo instead of the medium large first because this one can double as a work bag and the medium large cannot. It again depends on your preference, on your budget, on your lifestyle. You can go for whatever bag better works for you but these are definitely three of my absolute favorites as starters and if I had to start my collection over probably the jumbo would be the first one that I would buy because prices only keep going up and up and I'm smitten with this bag. That's it my darlings, thank you so much for watching this video. Do leave in the comments down below which ones are your favorite luxury items and the favorites in your collection. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, all that jazz. And I'll see you my darlings in the next one. Mm -hmm. Come <laughs>